All right, shall we watch the, uh, should we watch that video? Yo, Lilo, thank you for the tier one, the 18 years. Yo, yo, what's up, Leah? Dev Diaries. Dev Diaries. Got it. Found it. Let's watch this together, gotcha? Dev Diaries. Okay. Four minutes, chat. Four minute react, Andy. Hey, everyone, I'm Joe Ziegler, hey, the I know director him. of Valorant. And as you can see, we're all still working from home, but that won't stop us from listening and responding to your feedback. I first wanted to say thank you all for coming on this journey so far. It's been a wild four months since launch. And while we're still getting in the rhythm of shipping stable patches, I think Act 3 is going to be the best one yet. React, Andy. But today, I'm not here to talk about all of Act 3. Just one set of changes coming across Act 3 of this year and Episode 2 of next year. Changes okay. to one very important part of our game competitive mode climbing the ranks is at the heart of the competitive experience of valor true but as we've seen from your feedback over the past two acts this system is still in its early stages and we know we need to do a better job of improving understanding of the system rank progress and high rank play more like based on our feedback from the literal beta but okay we'll keep going we want your rank matches to always feel like you have a fair chance of winning but we struggle to do that at the top ranks where it's harder to put solo players in fair matches. We've True. also heard from others that there's a desire for even more organized team play, but just not in the same queue. I want to say that we hear you on all of these things. And while some may take time to implement, please keep the feedback coming. We intend to continue okay. growing and evolving Valorant for years to come. And a part of that is building it with you. And that was my piece. I just want to check in Good with talk. you all before passing the mic off to David Kroll, one of our game designers. Okay. He'll more clearly walk you through our assessment of the situation, as well as what we intend to do now and in upcoming months for Ranked. Take it away, okay. people. Okay. Yo, I'm David. I work on Valorant as a game designer, and I'll be steering the ship on our design for competitive going forward. Hey, David. David's at home said it wasn't working, so they both shot at Joe's house. We're pretty sure David does not have the exact same memory as Joe, but it's also a possibility. When we were first setting up rank for launch, one big okay. goal we had was to embrace social play, to let players from wider skill disparities play together, and to focus much of our rank systems on personal progression. Okay. But as we'd heard from your feedback, ranked is about competition, like chasing a higher rank relative to your peers, or knowing that your rank you've achieved is worth something because everyone's climbing under the same conditions. For us, while the former values of social play are important, they should never come at the cost of your ranked accomplishments. So, we're going to take a step back True. and simplify our goals with ranked, which you'll see over the course of Act 3, and then next <clears throat> year in Episode 2, and beyond. Okay. Act 3 is about moving quickly. We want to bring back more competitive integrity to the queue and get you focused on what matters most, winning. A more like just playing, a rank getting a game. definitely makes this harder. As such, we're going to tighten the restriction on ranked disparities for competitive queue, reducing them from a six to a three rank difference. For example, the lowest rank a diamond three can queue with is a platinum three, and the highest they can okay. queue with is an immortal three. I think that's good. Additionally, immortal plus rank movement will be purely impacted by wins or losses and how decisive the match outcome was. We're gonna start here- As opposed to how was it before. Play, and hopefully apply it to all the tiers by episode two. Along with reducing skill disparity and competitive, we are also adding the ability to select your preferred server. Ah, uh, this is a good one. This is this is actually big, because a lot of people would play with high ping. And like, if I was playing with like Jason R and Steel and Riv, they're all three West, so I'd end up playing with like ninety ping. So now you actually get to pick which servers you want. I fully guarantee you'll always get the server you want due to match. Okay, maybe reason. not. So Can't this feature will notably it. increase the chance to get your preferred game server. That's a big one, actually. That's actually a, bit, Next a really on our big priority one. list is improving experience of high ranked players in the ranked climb. Hopefully some of the changes in Act 3 will address common pain points, but there are extra features already in the works for Episode 2. A few of these include creating a public, region-based leaderboard. And a ah, they're going to do it finally, chat. A top 500 Radiant leaderboard actually gives you some kind of a reason to actually play the game once you hit Radiant on your main account. Potential restriction on the Q size at Immortal Plus to Solo Duo. Wait, did you hear that, chat? Let's not gloss over that one. He just said, uh, Immortal plus rank, you have to play solo or duo. That is a big one. That is a big one. These ranks are where the matchmaking pool is very small and therefore harder to reliably make fair matches. True. We're working on these changes as fast as possible. And we'll have an update when we can share Currently, Thank we're you. on track to deliver these changes early next year with the launch of Episode 2. We also know that these changes okay. come with trade-offs. 
we know there are many of you who like to queue for competitive experience with friends of a wide skill range. We see this demand for this kind of team-based competition, and it's on our roadmap. We just believe this shouldn't be the focus of the competitive queue, and we'll hopefully have more news next year. Like all changes, we'll keep our ears to the ground to see what's working and what's not. Thanks, and keep us in check with your feedback. All right. That's it. That's it. To be like, hey, yo, thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, make sure you click that follow or subscribe button on YouTube. So the big things are you get to choose what server location you, you prefer to play in. You get to choose. There's going to be some kind of a leaderboard, which I think is good. And they made it so that if you're a mortal plus, if you're at least a mortal rank or radiant, you have to queue only solo or duo and not, you can't queue with like a five stack when you're immortal. I think that's good actually. A lot of times there's like, even sometimes you run into like teams, like those low tier teams, just five stack all day. And it's just like, especially early in an act, it's just super annoying. It's like, okay, then we'll just lose. It's great. We're five stacking, but yeah. Also they change it. If you did, if you weren't here, they changed so you can only queue with three ranks down instead of six ranks down, which means if you're radiant, the lowest rank you can play with is a mortal one. And before it was diamond one, right? Now, if you're a mortal one, the lowest rank you can play with is, is diamond one and so forth. So instead of it being six ranks, now you have three ranks, which I think is a good thing because now you can't really boost your friends as much. I mean, I, th I feel like that'll kind of force people to have harder smurfs, but I think it's fine. Guess you need to start to play with friends now. I mean, they just said that uh, they're gonna try to find a way to make it so you can. I mean, here's the thing, right? Here's Here's as, much as I'm sure you want to be able to play with your friends, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people like I I have friends that are you know really really bad you know in the iron bronze silver range. If I'm gonna to try to play with them, guess what? I'm not gonna play ranked with them. I'm not gonna get a Smurf account that's silver to play th with them in ranked and then try to actually you know b uh, play. Why, why would you play comp? How is it fun to play comp with your friends like that? That's what you do, chat. There's a game mode for you to play when you're playing with your friends that's super bad and 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 noob. You click right here. Unrated. You play unrated with them. And then you can uh, play with your friends. Why, why are you going to play comp with your friends that are terrible?